Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Lethal injection, which became the death penalty method of choice after the electric chair was deemed too cruel, is now falling out of favor. Drug companies are rebelling against it. States are fighting to keep it. And there is a new wave of controversy, and a slew of lawsuits, alleging that lethal injections are almost as inhumane as firing squads. Now the future of legal injection is uncertain, and states find themselves looking for alternatives. There are 31 states that currently allow the death penalty, with lethal injection being the primary method to carry out the practice. In recent years, many of those states have faced drug shortages due to manufacturers cutting off the supply due to objections over how their drugs are used. Robert Dunham, director of the Washington, D.C.-based Death Penalty Information Center says he's not surprised that drug supplies are being cut off. In every state that's attempting to carry out executions, prisoners have been challenging the method of execution. And those challenges have either been to the entire state's protocol where they are attacking the use of particular drugs, or it's been what's called an as-applied challenge when people who have particular medical conditions say that the use of any kind of lethal injection is inappropriate for them because of the way they're likely to respond. Several states including Alabama, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, Nevada, Nebraska, Ohio, Tennessee, and Texas have recently faced court challenges or inquires over lethal injection protocols, according to the Death Penalty Information Center. A judge in Tennessee recently granted the state permission to begin using a new cocktail of drugs to carry out executions. Some states have even gone further to enact secrecy laws to protect the source of acquired drugs. All of the states that have been carrying out executions have some form of secrecy, Dunham said. The states initially said that this is necessary for them to obtain the drugs because drug manufacturers were being harassed, they claimed, by anti-death penalty advocates. Those allegations have all turned out to be false. But the states have continued to attempt to expand secrecy and the real reason is because the drug manufacturers themselves are opposed to the use of their medicines in executions. Drug manufacturers such as Pfizer, Athenex, Acorn, Roche, Janssen, and others have put out statements opposing the use of their products in executions. In 2016, Pfizer started imposing controls over its medicines to make sure they would not be used for lethal injection.